I, I've got a couple videos I want to share, but he literally just straight up, they had an expo <laughs> for Tesla and they straight up, they showed us self-driving taxis, which mm. are just the self-driving cars in iRobot. And then they also <laughs> showed us self-driving buses that uh -huh. are in iRobot. And then straight up gave us our own personal autonomous, auto autonomous, is that, am I saying that right? Uh, autonomous, yeah, I think. Robot that <laughs> you are going to be able to buy for somewhere between 20 and $30,000. You'll have your own personal made robot within like two to three years, they'll have these released. Okay. They, the only reason why they're going to take two to three years is because they have to mass produce and they have, they have to get over some laws. Like there's like two states like Texas and one other thing that has. Funny because Tesla is in Texas. <laughs> yes. They have laws that don't, prov that there's not restrictions in those states for the laws mm -hmm. that they have to get around to sell us these things. But they're, they are, you're going to have your own personal robot. I mean, everybody has the opportunity. I just wanted to throw this out because I thought this was funny. This is the guy that <laughs> in the movie iRobot that created it. Um, Versus Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk is wearing his leather <laughs> yeah, yeah. jacket. <laughs> um, I have some Very videos different. of, now I have a lot to say and you probably are going to have some things to say in the comments. Put them all in the comments. We want to hear it. We've been talking about it. Um, okay. Everybody's been talking about this, but um I, I'm going to show some of the videos that I sent you. Did you watch these already? I sent no, you. No, I, I didn't. I figured you were going to, first off, I was leaving for a camp out. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't watch them. And second of all, I knew you were going to put this in the podcast. So I yeah. just didn't watch it. Optimus. It's insane. It's even talking. Say hi to my friend, John. John? Where's John? Right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? <laughs> it's crazy. I'm talking to a robot uh, from San Jose, probably from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon that's Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you live in Alameda Valley or do you live in yeah. Santa Teresa area? Or? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> where do you live? Well, hiking out here up there. There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah, this yeah. is. This is awesome. That's where they train us, that's where we get our bills, and that's where we work with a wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I try harder to do every day, and I hope that you will help us become that. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. You as well. <laughs> that's crazy man that is crazy. They, they programmed stuttering and all that kind of stuff so <laughs> so coming out now they these videos got released and then now they're coming out saying that there was human assistance with these robots but i don't think they were humans like uh helping them out a little bit but i don't think they were helping them out that much the robots were mostly doing it mainly themselves. Okay. So you think that whole conversation was just straight up? I think human. that whole conversation was straight from the robot. And Okay, straight up robot, okay. The other the other two have conversations with uh All right. it too and it, they sound very interesting. All right, let's play the next one. For sure, let's do it. A little video. Hey. Sweet. Nice man. Oh, oh, oh. Bro. Appreciate it. Of course, it's fine. All right. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? <laughs> doing good. Peace, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Nice. I love the change. <laughs> How's Let everybody doing? Order a drink. Doing good. All right. Then step right up. Can I have a watermelon fogarita? A watermelon? Yeah. Of course you can. Hey, what's up? Cheers, man. <laughs> I 
I mean, they're slow, but that makes sense. But they're doing it, dude. They're doing it. How am I doing so far? Killing it. <laughs> oh. Here you go. Thanks, Optimus. Appreciate it. Anytime. Yo. So, so they, op Optimus is what they've they programmed like personality traits into this. That's crazy. It they <laughs> seem so different from what I expected them to be too. Well, yeah, because every film has has labeled them as a like really introspective, very human like, yeah. or just straight up robot. You know what I mean? And yeah. this is like a dude, like a light hearted dude, <laughs> like someone that you just kind of hang out with. You know what I mean? Which is nuts, yeah. man. They've programmed them to be kind of very human-like and not like in a weird introspective way, but just like casual. Like <laughs> the one said, what's the hardest thing you do? He's like, me trying to figure out how to be more like you guys every day. And it's like, what? the heck <laughs> but he like started he's like trying to figure out what he was gonna say yeah the same way that people do let's see what this one's like hold on this third one how you doing what's up hey buddy how you doing man I'm doing good. it's nice to meet you might be the first nice to meet you what's your name i'm optimus okay my name is tony tony yeah Really? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Tony. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Hey, can you uh, awesome. can you can you play basketball? Can you shoot like jump shots? Hmm. Maybe one day. I'll sure. teach can you. you. I'll teach you. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank man. you, Tony. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Much appreciated. All right, Thank man. you, Tony. You like Balenciaga? <laughs> I I got an outfit for you. <laughs> really? Yeah, I got an outfit for you. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. Yeah. All right, well, well, I'm about to order you, okay? All right. I'm going to order you, and then I'll see you in another couple months, okay? <laughs> so he's talking to great. two chains. Yeah. And so some of these robots, oh, we're, we're good ways into the podcast. I'll just say it. Some of these, you know, like when you kind of have a conversation with someone who's on the spectrum, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, but they're robots it's that kinda are kind of similar. Hey, so, so I heard of I watched a video where Elon Musk talked about the technology for these things, and mm. essentially what he was saying is the t same technology that is in the Tesla vehicles are what's in these robots. That is a software that can figure out its own mistakes. So let's say the car is driving. It makes a wrong turn and gets into a crash. Next time, it's going to learn, don't make that turn because this will happen. So if you do X, this bad thing will happen. So it learns, don't do X, do this. So it'll readjust itself. And I think that's the type of um, technology that's in these robots where it's it has to figure out its mistakes. When it makes a mistake, it's like, no, I can't do that. Let's Let's not do that next time and right um i think that's how how they're doing it now like i said this was a pre uh, presentation of these robots the first time people are really seeing them so there was a little bit of human assistance with them but i think that's only like the tesla um presentation the thing that they had for them i if elon musk is saying they will be out in like a year or two then Clearly, they're ready to not have human assistance at all. They just—they <laughs> it's the same thing as like when he got and threw a ball through a rock at the cyber truck and it shattered. Mm -hmm. And then now it's, you see cyber trucks all the time, and you can throw rocks at them and they're fine. They they fix those bugs and they're just very minor things. So yeah. it's it's crazy that that we're seeing this and I don't, I don't even know what to think because a lot of people, all I'm hearing from people is I'm scared. This is crazy. But I'm <laughs> like, it's not that crazy in a way, but it is crazy because we already use a lot of technology and we use the internet. We use, um, we have so much technology already. And so, um, 
a humanoid robot is not that it's, much it's different. It's not that much different. Besides the fact that it could come up and smack you in the face. <laughs> yes. But also like so, a vehicle could, you could lose control of a vehicle and that could hit somebody. That's, that's yeah. the same thing. I think everybody's very scared because of things like iRobot where they started to take over the world. Well, Hollywood's been, been conditioning yes, us been to be conditioning afraid. conditioning us that way for years. And so I don't know what we'll see. But on top of these robots, I think that is the thing that's wowing me the most. But they did also release self-driving cars with no steering wheel. There will be no steering wheel in these cars that they're going to be releasing. Mm -hmm. They are going to be like self-driving taxis. And you can buy one and it when you're not using it, have it just um, let it loose and it'll start picking people up. Like you can have an Uber app and say, Start mm -hmm. using the Uber app and you'll make a side hustle if you with your car when you're not needing it yourself to get to and from work. And right. so I'm I'm predicting there will be companies that ha like have fleets of these cyber taxis and it'll almost be like right now Uber kind of um, took over the taxi game because people can do it on an individual basis and they don't have to work for somebody. Mm -hmm. This self-driving taxi and you being able to do it, people can buy multiple cars and have fleets of them to where I think yep. the taxi concept will come back to where someone owns, you know, 10 of these things and they're driving for them all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a new way for a stream of income for people who want that, to, who want to invest and and manage that kind of type of thing in the same way that people um, rent out homes, right? So yeah. like you're saying, there's, um, it says that the robots are supposed, he, Elon expects the robots to be in households by 2027. So in three years. Yes. <laughs> but I will say this. Unless they can get that price tag down. 20000 Look, it doesn't seem like a lot for a robot, but we're talking about people who struggle to buy a $10,000 car. And a car is an everyday necessity. Yeah, but if you, if we're talking. Um, and what's the shelf is, life? Okay. What's the miles on a robot? You know what I mean? That That's true. That's true. But think of it like this. And if you have your own company where you are building widgets. <laughs> I, hate, I hate people who use the widget analogy, but I'm about to. You have to make 20 widgets a day to make X amount of money. You're paying a human $50,000 a year to make these widgets come in and work full-time a salary of $50,000 for to make these widgets. But you can make, you can have a robot maybe make half the amount that a human can make, but it's only $20,000. You're going to pay for that robot in a year with a salary of someone's income. If they don't put in laws, they don't put laws up in place when these robots come out where they can't do certain jobs, which I'm sure they probably will start making laws like that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what they do. I think right now they're just marketing them as like, Doing your everyday chores, making you food, watering your plants. There's advertisements where it shows them watering your plants. Cleaning your dishes. Yeah, cleaning your dishes, vacuuming your floor type, type things. I don't think right now they're expecting them to be building things, building cars for us or anything like that. Because um, I don't think they're smart enough to know all the ins and outs of like technology and all that. But I, if they can get better fast who knows what they can do in 20 2030 it's gonna be like the creator movie dude yeah did you watch creator yeah we went and watched it together no we didn't i was in florida <laughs> we watched it and oh, talked oh, oh. about it on the podcast yeah. i'm thinking of me and wyatt we we i watched it with wyatt yeah it's yeah. gonna be like the creator man and they're, they I, I hope we don't have a war with these things but they're going to be a part of society, probably. You know, they're going to yeah. take up space. Um, I mean, and it, it's a fascinating future we're stepping into. It's no longer a galaxy far, far away, and it's no longer, you know, a distant time. It's like freaking right now, dude. Like yeah. 2027. The other day, 
they had people talk. They had one talking to two chains. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like we're going to be people are going rich. People are going to be like, yeah, I have 20, 30 grand to spend on what I want. I want to try out a Tesla robot. It's going to be in someone's home doing daily chores yeah. in three years. Now, yeah. with all that said, it is very possible that they launch this and then viral videos start going viral of a robot that had an error and has just been watering the same plant for like three days straight. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, there's going to be yeah. videos that pop up and maybe maybe a lot or maybe just a couple, but there's going to be some bumps for sure. Yeah, bump, bump. There's going to be some pretty big bumps in the road, especially initially with these robots. I have a lot to say, but also not anything to say because like, I don't know what to say. And I guess it's just we'll see. Because we, we can't stop <laughs> we'll it. At this, we can't stop it at this point. Do we want to stop it? Is this kind of cool? I don't want to stop it. I don't personally. That's crazy. I'm more I'm more willing to stop artificial intelligence. And I know this is tied to AI, but you know, robots that are programmed to do stuff that yeah, you can't really have a robot without AI. So I don't know, dude. It's a big question mark. Yeah, I don't. I'm super curious. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm I'm more curious than I am nervous. Which is, we'll say that if Wyatt was here, he would be like, "Kill them all, kill them kill now." Them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah we're the optimistic <laughs> side of the podcast, and our the person that's always that doesn't want this is not here tonight. So yeah, <laughs> Wyatt would, would be like, it's "We got to kill them. We got to get rid of them while it's while we still can." That's what he would be saying.